Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Nav's Garage. And also, thanks for catching up with the latest auto flight quad cam head project video. Whew, that's a mouthful, but I promise you I'll make it worth you checking in. Now, if this is your first time joining us here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And also toggle on the little bell, right? That way, you'll be notified when the next video drops. What we've got in store for you today though is really exciting, okay? Now you would have seen when I unboxed all the auto flight stuff, come with a heap of spares, right? So what we've got here is a box of brand new buckets, okay? Now these are the very meaning of new old stock. They're straight off the machining equipment. Right? It's even still got the swarf in the box. All right, that's pretty cool, huh? But they've been sitting around for a while, they haven't been oiled, okay? And they've got a bit of surface rust on them, rightio. So what we're gonna be doing in this episode, gonna be trying this Evaporust product, okay? Now this is supposed to be pretty good stuff, if you believe all the Twitters. Um, gonna see how it goes at restoring all these old brand new buckets, okay? So let's get into it. Okay, so here's our box of buckets, right here. And some of them are in better condition than others. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to pick a, a real nice rusted one to give it a good test, okay? So here's a few options. These are the winners, so I might try it with these two first, okay? So what I got here is just a cut off little drink bottle, um, so I don't have to use so much of this stuff, and I'm just gonna put them in here, like this, and then pull the evaporust in. Okay, so first of all, I'm just gonna get rid of any excess uh, dry dust off these, so I don't contaminate the fluid too much, because hopefully I'm gonna use it again. So I'm just gonna hit them with a a paintbrush. All right, so they're reasonably clean now, other than the rust that's on them, okay? I'm gonna leave this one out as a sample of what it was sort of like, because the condition's pretty similar. And I'm gonna put this one in. Okay, so here we go. Might just Give this a bit of a shake up. All right, here goes. Okay, so I guess we'll see what happens. All right guys, so this is what it looks like after six hours. So let's just pull it out. So, you can still see a little bit of staining on it and pitting. Okay, so I'm going to put it back in the solution now for a few more hours and see what happens. But it has, uh, it has lifted it a bit.
Okay guys, so this is after 24 hours. So there's a definite reduction in the rust. Might just get a rag and wipe it. So yeah, it's definitely cleaned it a lot since we put it in. There's the sample, you can see the difference. Let's see what's in the solution. Yeah, so there's sediment in the bottom, so that must be the iron oxide it lifts up or something. Okay, so it works. So what we might do now is soak all the buckets and see how they come up. Okay, so... Here's our buckets. All right, now I've wiped all the dust off them so that it's not gonna contaminate our fluid. And in it goes. All right, and now we wait. So here's our bucket O buckets. Check them out. Looks like we've made a batch of valve bucket pickles. It's pretty cool. All right, so they've been in uh, the solution now for 18 hours, and um, just by the couple I pulled out, they look pretty darn good. So anyway, let's pull them out and we'll let them dry and then we'll rinse them off. Okay, so there's all our buckets and just straight out of the solution, they look pretty damn good. Okay, the ones that had rust on them uh, the pits of the rust has gone black, which if you read the back of the bottle uh, on high carbon steel, that's just the carbon remaining where the rust was. So what we're going to do now is um, I'm going to clean them up with some soapy water and uh, see how they come up. So I'm going to reuse this solution um, next time. So it's going to go straight back in the bottles ready to use again. So that's cool. All right, now let's get to cleaning. So what I'm gonna do now is 
scrub them with a, a nylon bristle brush, okay? Something that's not aggressive to damage the metal, but will hopefully move all the black carbon stains off them. So. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is clean this pan out. All right, I'm going to put some soapy water in this. Okay, so here we go. Got some Aussie made eucalyptus detergent here and some really hot water. Why have we used hot water? Because when we're done and they come out, they're going to be nice and easy to dry. So in they go. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to kind of massage these. Show them a bit of love. Oh, that's quite warm actually. And you can see how they come up. Pretty nice. Not worried about inside there because, well, that's not a uh, sliding surface anyway. Okay guys, so I reckon that's um, got them washed pretty well. Now I'm going to sit them down on the towel here and let them drip dry. Voila. Look pretty cool, hey? Alright, so I'm just going to let them dry now. And then we'll stick them in some oil. Okay, now back in our blue ice cream pail once again. And they're nice and dry now. Like that. And now we're just going to douse them with some old engine oil to stop them rusting in the future. All right, so what we're going to do here is just knead it around like a nice oily, buckety loaf of bread. Well, I reckon that's sufficiently lubricated, don't you? Cool. Alright, so here they are. I've come out of the oil now and I'll just let them kind of drip dry. So what I'm going to do now is pack them away for storage. Alright. So I've just got a nice clean box. Some grease paper in it. And I'm just going to pack all the buckets into there. Can 
Cool. Put them away now. All right, guys, well, there we go. Our nice, shiny, de-rusted and oiled buckets, right? Ready to store so that we can put them to good use in the future. Got them all wrapped up there in our greased paper. We'll tuck them in and put them away. That should keep them, uh, well, just as good as they are now until we're ready to use them. Now I think next time on the Quad Cam EA82 project, we'll give the camshafts the same de-rusting treatment. Okay, we'll restore all those brand new camshafts we've got and uh, make them all schmick as well. Okay, so you're gonna wanna subscribe to the channel of course and tune into our next episode. But until then, jump on our Instagram, follow us there at Gossam Media and um, We'll see you next time on Nev's Garage.